we're now learning the identity of the guy who was shocked when Donald Trump made his jaw-dropping comment about Hillary Clinton. If she gets to pick her judges, nothing you can do, folks. Although the Second Amendment people, maybe there is, I don't know. So who's the guy whose reaction to Trump was seen around the world? Well, here he is. I turned to uh, the lady who was sitting next to me, and I said, I can't believe he said that. Daryl Vickers is a 68-year-old retired engineer who once ran for mayor of Oak Island, North Carolina. What did you think about what he said? Oh, uh, the comment was a joke. It was intended as a joke. But in this day and age, you have to be very, very careful about what you say and how you say it. Trump is trying his best to temper the firestorm, telling Sean Hannity that he wasn't calling on Second Amendment supporters to harm Hillary, only to mobilize against her. There can be no other interpretation. Even reporters have told me, I mean, give me a break. His comment has unleashed a TV uproar from both sides. If someone else had said that outside the hall, He'd be in the back of a police wagon now. He doesn't mean it. He isn't that kind of man. It's shameful. He should apologize. Passions are running so high that CNN's Don Lemon got into a shouting match with a former Secret Service agent, Dan Bongino. You don't know crap about this, Don. You're a TV guy. I was a Secret Service agent. Now cut off my mic. Trump tweeted today, Don Lemon is a lightweight, dumb as a rock. So was Trump making a veiled threat against Hillary? An Inside Edition online poll is closely divided, with 52% saying yes and 48% saying no. Trump's comment is just the latest example of something never seen in a presidential campaign before, where both candidates are questioning each other's sanity. He says, Unstable. Hillary Clinton. She says, Donald Trump is temperamentally unfit. Psychologist Dan McAdams, a professor at Northwestern University, recently wrote The Mind of Donald Trump for Atlantic Magazine. He says Trump's aggressiveness may be linked to his childhood. His father uh, really liked the fact that Donald was an aggressive kid. He used to call him a killer. He used to encourage him to be a killer. And I think what he meant by that was to be a tough guy. Don't let anybody push you around. Daryl Vickers wants everyone to know one thing about his big reaction. One of your competitors made a comment that I was speaking to my wife, and I wanted to be made clear that that wasn't my wife.